Sam, how's the drawing coming? Eh, I really like drawing fruit, but these kiwi seeds are tough. They're the tiniest things I've ever seen. They are teeny tiny, but I know something much tinier. Tinier than that? Sure. Atoms. Mia, you can't even see atoms. That doesn't count. We can see atoms, but only if we use a super strong microscope. Are there atoms in those tiny kiwi seeds? Definitely. Atoms are the tiny particles that make up all matter. And those seeds are matter. Believe it or not, atoms are so tiny that millions and billions of them make up that kiwi seed. That's crazy. I can't imagine something that small. What are atoms supposed to look like? Focus on this. Atoms are like itty bitty balls. At the center of every atom is a nucleus. The nucleus is made up of particles called protons and neutrons. Protons have a positive electrical charge. Neutrons have none. They're neutral. Got it. P for proton equals positive. N for neutron equals neutral. So all of that fits inside a tiny atom? Oh, there's more. Electrons are the tiniest part of all. And they move in circles around the nucleus. Sort of like how the planets orbit the sun. Electrons have a negative electrical charge. So how many protons and electrons are there in an atom? The number of protons in an atom is equal to its number of electrons. That number determines what element the atom makes. The element hydrogen has one proton and one electron. It's number one on the periodic table. Oxygen has eight protons and eight electrons, so it's number eight. Get it? When two atoms combine, they make a molecule. Sometimes the atoms that combine are all the same kind of atom. When that happens, an element is created. What if the atoms are different? If the atoms that combine are different, then they're still molecules. But they're called compounds, like water. Two hydrogen atoms plus one oxygen atom equals a molecule of water, H2O. Wow, atoms really are everything. It's true. Atoms are amazing. Seriously, all matter is made up of these tiny particles called atoms. We can't see them unless we use a super strong microscope. There's the nucleus at the center made up of protons and neutrons. Then there are the electrons that circle around the outside of the nucleus. When two or more atoms combine, it's called a molecule. If the atoms that combine are all the same, it's an element. If the atoms are different, it's a compound. So, Sam, still think atoms don't count? They count all right. Atoms are a work of art.